Hello, my name is Sahil Malik. I'm a trainer and consultant and I love Angular. I deliver trainings on Angular regularly and you can find my email address right here. Here's another video making yet another Angular concept easy and simple to understand. As always, I look forward to your feedback. Thank you for watching. Now, the word transclusion is a very heavy duty word. And for those of us who come from AngularJS, we know exactly what it means. It's actually something very simple. Your typical Angular application is going to be comprised of multiple components, a lot of them nested amongst each other, and they want to talk to each other. So I've talked about the talking with each other using you know, input, output, one-way data binding, two-way data binding, view child, view children. I've talked of all of these concepts in other YouTube videos that I highly recommend you check out. But in this video, I'm going to talk about another important concept called as transclusion. So what is transclusion? Let's go back to my application here. I have a very simple application here, it is still running. And basically it's, uh, let's go ahead and refresh it. So basically it's got a bunch of to-dos. That's the whole thing is app component. H1 tag belongs in the app component. Rest of it is to-dos control. And each individual you know, component that is being rendered is to-do control, singular. And the idea here is that the to-dos component is data binding some data down here, as you see here using the input element. And then check one of these, it talks back out using output, and then I can do mark all complete, and you know, it marks all of these complete, and we have two-way data binding working on this component as well. Now, what I want to do using transclusion is that uh, the, the parent here, the to-dos component, wishes to be able to send some data into this to-do control, and the data needs to be just rendered as is, okay? Now, where would you find this very useful? You would find this very useful if you have an app component using routing, and you want to create a layout component, and it is really the layout component's responsibility to decide you know, whether we're going to put a hamburger menu on the left or, you know, rep think responsive design, that you can pick the component on the fly, right? So if we are working in this resolution, show it like that and like this, and then the parent component can transclude the roots in there, and then the layout component can decide how to render them. That's a practical example of it. There are lots of other examples where this might be necessary. So how do we do that? So let's say theoretically speaking, I want to add some text right before here, right? And the parent, again, the parent component decides what text goes there. It's actually very simple to do. Let's go into the to-do component.html, and at the very top, I'm going to go ahead and place a new directive called ng content. Uh, why did it put that on a separate line? I didn't intend to do that. And then in the to-dos component.html, I am going to make one very minor change that way I am rendering this to-do control like this. Inside here, I'm going to say, I'm gonna write some text here. I'm going to say, uh, please complete, or whatever text you wanna send in. You can even send in complex data-bound text, that's okay. And actually, when this is just plain text. You can even have multiple tags, and there's a way that you can split these up uh, in the recipient control. So you can have multiple transcludable, you know, donut holes that you can fix or fill. Okay, so let's go back here. I'm gonna hit refresh. And now you see that this please complete shows up here. If I were to change this text to say, please do not complete, and I'm gonna come here and refresh, it changes this text appropriately. Again, it is the parent that is sending in the content, and the child decides where that content gets rendered using ng content. And that's Transclusion. Thanks for watching.